Hey, what's happening? Saturday. Time for a very, very special Bridge Thoughts. I don't even really have any thoughts, but I did miss Friendly Friday. For that, I apologize. And we're about to go over a pretty cool bridge. And I don't want RD to be able to make more videos than me. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the bar in the middle of the windshield, full effect today. And I've uh, yet to move the mount. I moved it one time, and it, it just didn't look good because it rattled because I drive a Freightliner. But um, anyway, we're about to go over a drawbridge. Yeah, drawbridge. We are on California Highway 12, uh, west of Lodi and east of Fairfield. And we're about to go over the Sacramento River. Uh, this is twice. We're going to go over it twice if I can ramble on long enough. So, drawbridge. Look at that. I think this is technically Potato Slough, which is an offshoot of the Sacramento River. And this used to be kind of like a thriving resort, but it's a little run down looking now. All the, You used to see all the party barges and stuff out here and whatnot. But it's not as popular as it used to be for reasons I'm not really sure about. Out here in the San Joaquin Valley, they call this the uh, the River De River Delta. Just this a little bit. Eh, there we go. Yeah. So I, I really don't have a topic. I was just coming up on these cool bridges, so I just fired it up real fast. It's kind of the downside of only making videos when you're on a bridge. You're sort of married to a certain timeline. Uh, I don't know. Wish this was alive. Maybe someone else could hook me up with a topic to talk about. But, uh, I don't know. What, well, we missed Friendly Friday. Let's talk about being friends. Uh, can you be friends with somebody who isn't friends or who is friends with someone you don't like? I was talking about that earlier with somebody. Uh, like, can you remain neutral? Because I, I feel like I do pretty good at that. Like, I don't hate a guy just because someone I like doesn't like him. But then sometimes one of the people will cross the line and do something with a person you like, even though you like that person, that you kind of have to separate yourself. I don't know. There's like a fine line between, well, I try to get along with everybody and just being, I don't know what the word for it, not really a leg humper or just kind of not standing for anything. I don't know. What are, what are your thoughts on that? It's like, I'm a pretty amicable person, whatever. I don't really like to make enemies, especially on the internet because I'm a 40 year old man, but, um, it happens. People get their feelings hurt. People sometimes very justifiably. And I know it's just words and videos, but sometimes you're going to get offended. And that's kind of what the YouTube's all about to get the reactions out of it and everything. Right. So other times it's very not justified. Other times people seem to just make YouTube videos that the main point of it is that they're awesome and you're supposed to just be like, wow, you're awesome in the comments and then maybe give them money somehow. And if you do anything other than that, you're a hater and or jealous or whatever. And I don't really subscribe to that. I try to keep my critical comments polite, of course, and maybe even ask questions before passing judgment, right? Because I'm only human like everybody. I'm probably on the lower end of the human spectrum, in fact. So I feel like I don't want to just jump to conclusions off my first take and then because then you're in that situation where you got to go back and like, oh, well, I misunderstood you. That's why I talked nine miles of shit to you. So I'm kind of apologizing, but sort of not. And that's just weird, right? It's just it's awkward. Odd. Nobody want that. So uh, I don't know. Where do, you, where do you stand on that to my? Yeah, I'm averaging 50 views on these bridge thoughts, by the way. Hey couple hate watchers i'm sure but i don't care you're still welcome right on that's cool for for a guy who just slaps a phone in the windshield and drives over bridges that ain't too bad yeah that's right on i appreciate everybody who stays uh seems like a pretty steady uh viewership base so cool yeah dig it um so if anyone feels like leaving a comment about that subject on i don't know where you draw the line on how bad i guess i don't know i'm not phrasing it very well how far out of line someone that you get a line along with, even if they're not doing anything to you, how far out of line they have to get with someone else that you do like before you either feel the need to say something to them 
or you're kind of starting to change your opinion on them, I guess, would be the question. I don't know. I was, I was watching a, I don't know, like a whatever we're up to now, 47 and a half hour live feed earlier, and it kind of came up when there's a couple people on the stream yard. It just got me to thinking, and I'm, maybe I'm the only one that noticed it. Like, I do that sometimes. I just notice oddball stuff and then run with it in my head and turn it into something that you people that, uh, yeah, you, who the fuck is you people? The, the viewers, the viewers, my subscribers, I don't know, if you're watching this, you would also consider important enough to talk about. Sometimes it, it's, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. I feel like the percentage is reasonable. I, I haven't, I haven't got too many negative comments yet there are a couple here that's all right though man you can't be you gotta be a little controversial right you gotta get a couple negative comments every now and again otherwise otherwise you're probably not making any kind of content all right so we're coming up on the second bridge over the actual sacramento river so i'm going to continue rambling and if you're just listening while you're driving uh you might want to get ready depending if I catch this light or not, to actually look at the screen, because that's mainly what this video is about. Ooh, look, sheep. <laughs> sheep. Um, yeah, we're almost there. Not the sheep. You don't have to look at the sheep. They're just sheep. They're grazing in a big marshy field. Give you the visual on that. There's some roadkill. There's a dead coyote. Didn't get to eat the sheep. Uh, I'm going to have to look at the name of this bridge. I forget what it is. I think it's named after a... I believe it's named after a CHP officer that uh, got killed on duty, I think. We'll find out together in a minute. That's it. That's the level of interaction you can expect from a bridge thought. Am I going to make this light? Hell nah. Uh-uh. Red light. That's okay. It's just that much more time we get to spend together. Oh, green light. Go ahead and grind that. Y'all float gears with the Jake on if you drive a Cascadia. That's the only time I grind. Well, not the only time, but once in a while that happens. I go 10-9 with the Jake on when I float it on, on three, and it just kind of doesn't quite slip in there like that. Okay, we're going over the bridge. Yeah, Hella Madeira? Madeira? Hey, how you like that overhead clearance? <laughs> First couple of times I went over this one, that was, I was like, oh God, you ever do that where you're sort of staring up, kind of looking at the trailer in the mirror, slow down a little bit. This place is awesome. There's a boat ramp that you're not going to be able to see, unfortunately, because wide angle doesn't work on, uh, on landscape mode. There's a boat ramp and I've come out here a couple of times back when I had boats and gone fishing on here and it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's a pretty fun time out here. Weather's generally pretty nice. I've got some decent fish every now and again. Stripers run. Uh, I heard salmon used to run, but I've never encountered any salmon. And we just passed over the draw part. Maybe one of these days I'll be coming through. Uh, cargo ships, little ones like barges with containers or sometimes oil and whatnot come through there and go up to Sacramento, which is kind of cool. All right. We're rolling into Rio Vista. If you're still with me, right on. Thanks for listening, watching. Hit buttons or something. Uh, thank you to everybody who shared out my videos, by the way. I appreciate you. Some of these bigger channels have shared me out. Got me some more exposure. That's cool, man. Got me some cool new uh, subscribers, viewers, whatever. I appreciate that. It's right on. Anyway, I'm going to keep rolling. I might stop for lunch. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good, though. I might just keep going. I'm trying to slim down a little bit. Not eat just for the sake of eating. Anyway, if you're on the road like me on Saturday, do it safely. You'll probably watch this later. Uh, if you happen to watch it when the notification pops up, that's cool too. Anyways, I'll see you Monday for Motivational Monday. Late.